Yeah, hello everybody. Welcome to the podcast, episode five. Yeah, you know Daniel, Dan, yeah, let's you go. fucking go. Um, uh, today we're going to talk about how I am getting sued for uh, defaming Dia- Blizzard and Diablo 4. Um, I have to produce a public apology and then Diablo's, uh, Blizzard's going to put me in a square, tie me to one of those, like, you know, like a stock, and then they're going to spank me because I'm a bad boy. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening to me today. Okay. Uh, I'm going to talk about some old, an old Game Boy and the, the new Apple headset. Oh, he takes, you take the Apple headset, huh? Uh-huh. Huh? Uh-huh. Jumping on them. Oh, I could have uh, taken that. I, I, figured, uh, I figured that would be kind of elegant. Yeah, we were going to talk about that for a while. So. The new Game Boy? Yeah. Is that what you said? That's yeah, what's no, the old Game Boy. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. And uh, I was going to talk about my experience playing Zelda, having fun with that, and uh, Time Blur. <laughs> <That's> a... Great. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so for context, Kari and Kate got in a yelling match yesterday about why... It wasn't a yelling match. We were, they were screaming, screaming at each other. It was really bad. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. sent like two yeah. messages. Kate, Kate called and Kari and Kate, many names. Kate kind of broke down. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. I don't think you should use the N-word like that. It's, I think it's pretty inappropriate, Gabe. I called him a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the N-word I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, this is off to a start. Okay. But I also wanted to talk about the headset by the different, or I, I can't take it as my own idea, but a co-worker had a good, interesting point about it. Do so. we want to start with that? Because well, I feel like that's the most interesting, the new Apple headset. Yeah, yeah it's sure. probably the new. Okay, so new Apple headset, new VR slash AR headset, but it's it's not coming out till like next year. It's it's like goes on sale early, early next year, twenty twenty four. My dog's yeah. Room. And I saw the. Did you guys see any reviews from the people that used it? I haven't. I saw I, MKHB. Like what we I saw his too. Has he used yeah. it? Or anyone use it, or is it just? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Used all it. all their big reviewers used it, um, cool. and they all put out their little takes on he it. Was- Pretty, he was pretty, pretty impressed. On, yeah. yeah, he's a bit of an Apple fan. Yeah. Boy. He is, yeah. but uh, it also. I mean, he'll he, also I, 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 okay, I'll be real. I'll be real. It's not just because. I mean, I, I watch all of his videos, basically everything, and like relative to the other things he says about Apple, um, this was like it was. You know, what I mean, like it. He was actually impressed. Usually, he I feel his, like he, he yeah. put his downsides when, in it too. Right, it was a. Uh, yeah. Usually when he says something about Apple that like maybe other people wouldn't like, he usually says like, "But that's because I just kind of like that." Yeah. He, he, he shits on things too. That. But yeah, he thought it was pretty cool. The price point does make it kind of like well, price better point be. is pretty like, crazy. <laughs> I mean, it, like yeah. I, I'm sure it's. I mean, for I what's in it, straight up targeting professionals. Maybe Yo, right now. It, it makes. I mean, I, I guess it. I don't even. I don't want to say it makes sense to be honest. Like I think even two grand. Would be like oh, yeah. something like that. I think, but it's yeah. fine. It's fine. I, think, I get I, it. I, mean, I think this is probably mainly to just for like developers and stuff to like get get it and start making yeah, stuff yeah, for it. By the time they make like a like cheaper Apple's one or something. Style to release like a dev kit. Yeah. And the two hour battery life. It's oh, like oh, a really. That's pretty awful. Yeah. Can you plug it in? Can you plug it's it just in? Just like the Quest. Apparently you can, yeah. I wonder how much it but, weighs. That's the thing that always has gotten me about VR headsets. He said it was heavy. That was his big downside. That was he said it was like heavy's a, bad on headsets for two reasons. One, it just heavy's it's bad. Fatigue. Fatigue yeah. bad. But also I find the heavier it is, the more you have to tighten the fuck out of the straps and all that mm. stuff. Otherwise it just kinda slides down. You know what I mean? And also they're hot. You have a computer on your face. If and that was his as other soon concern as you too. start was sweating he... a little bit, it just it it'll slide, it fogs up. Yeah. So. He was saying that uh, he wasn't sure about the the fans too, because he didn't get to see the fans spin up. Um. Mm-hmm. So he was wondering about that. It's like he's like there's a I lot mean, to Apple's been not pretty know public, about it. or at least some of the founders have been pretty public about like like the original iPhone reveal. Nothing worked. They were like switching out iPhones live. <laughs> Right, and not to let anyone know. So sure. you know, who knows how how usable? For yeah, maybe the, the actual. Is, you know, maybe the actual version that comes out too will be different. Yeah, I think that's why they're pricing um, it so high is because they're like, okay, 
Let's get. Yeah. yeah, I'm calling it now too. After like a year or two of being it out, they'll come out with a cheaper version that won't have the front screen. Yeah, I was I was thinking that too. I was like, isn't that Wait, like a is big it a cost? Front screen. There's an it's OLED screen, screen in the front too. Yeah, the screen that shines your eyes on it, like so it looks like. And it's not it's, your eyes; it's oh, the digital recreation that it makes of you. I didn't realize that. That's insane. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's like a normal so VR extra. headset with this extra. Yeah, it's a VR headset. Oh, I assumed big... they were doing some what? crazy like glass. I thought so too. Like pass. I, I, until I watched the. Oh, that's yeah. Kind of until I watched the presentation. I thought, I mean, I still think it's cool. I kind of honestly prefer it that way because I was like, how am I going to see through bright things? That, that was yeah. like my big oh, concern. Really? I thought it was that. Yeah. Um, but he, he I'm, I'm kind of glad. Like, the pass through camera, like if you want to like see what's on there, you said that was one of the best he's done of like the other headsets. I'm wondering he's tried if the pass through pass through camera is 3D, as in if it's it, is, yeah. it is, yeah, it is. Okay, it that's is. huge because like you can take yeah. 3D videos and pictures with it. Yeah, too. that's a huge. That's the one thing I have. Like I have a Vive, not a Vive. Uh, what the fuck do I have? I have like whatever Valve's latest index. In, index. Wait, the index doesn't oh. have a 3D camera on the other side. It, doesn't and it's really weird oh wow all of a sudden you lose depth perception it's not too bad but all you, you do know. it's weird when you like you know you toggle to turn the camera on for a second all of a sudden like you lose person you lose depth perspective because you had it a second ago um i mm-hmm. think the oculus has sure. that i haven't used it too much the oculus has depth and everything but it's, like i said it's black and white the new one is mm-hmm. color that they announced anyways um, anyways um Oh. But yeah, I mean, I, I see, I see the the mark. Before I was like, oh, it's gonna kill Oculus, but then the new Oculus Three is five hundred dollars. So, mm. um, at least right now, it's definitely the budget version yeah. of this. So, yeah, and you said like the eye tracking and like the hand tracking. Oh like, yeah, like how you like click things, Calvin. Is you just look at them and then you just tap your fingers together and it clicks. And he said it worked like perfectly. He says cameras pointing all over, like inside at your eyes, inside yeah. and even like even like behind you. I'm, I'm not surprised the eye stuff. tracking stuff works because like I've I've been using like the Toby eye tracker. Um, mm. um, and it's been pretty impressive. So I imagine something that's mounted on your face, they can do pretty heavy accuracy. Like right at your eyes, yeah. yeah. Exactly. With like plus with ten they cameras, said they have like. Eight sensors per eye or something oh, crazy. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the, the Toby eye yeah. tracker is way farther away from my face, and yeah. But if it's something that's locked to your face, it's, oh, yeah. it's gonna be. Did you uh, watch the whole thing, Akari, where they mentioned they were talking about the audio and like their spatial audio, and then they they I didn't mentioned see that, that they have their thing called tracing. audio ray tracing. <laughs> I, I had yeah. the same thought. I was like, oh no. Yeah. Why does it have to be ray tracing? Why can't they just call it something? Yeah. So, because you know, you know, that's like. That went through, like, a whole review board and, like, a whole, uh, what do you call it, like... I think it's gotten to the point now where, like, ray tracing, people just, you know, it's, like, stuff bounces off stuff and it's better. It's like, okay, that's that's ray tracing to people, so... (laughs) You know, you say that, and, like, by now, people from, like, games or, like, tech people are like, oh, yep, okay, I know what that means. Well, they, you know, basically... Uh, Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. One thing I didn't actually hear... I know they have good audio, it, but it looked like it's beaming sound to your ears, right? Yeah, like so, I, it, you can't wear headphones just, with it, or wait, are you supposed to wear I, ear pods with it I, if you want. I'm to. sure you. Could, what I will yeah. say is, they have like steep. Well, the index has really, really, really good built-in audio, like really mm. good built-in audio. I don't know how they've done it. Um, so that's what they have to compete with, and it's really good. Like, they're little headphones that they yeah. look like they would be terrible, but they're so good. Um, like, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure, yeah. It blows me away. Like, that was definitely the right call to But then again, it does seem Apple, I seem like you can't even play a game on this thing. I don't like, think it's for gaming. I doubt, I'm sure, because yeah. I don't think we've seen it. Even their demo of games wasn't a VR game. It was like a yeah, game but I on mean, like screen. I think their <laughs> they did. I think their frame rate they, is not going to be there. I don't think they have 144. They said it's 100. They said is it MKHP said it felt like 120 hertz, which I think That's is good enough. Close enough for now. Yeah, yeah, hmm. yeah. They did but mention sure. that they were. Didn't they mention that they're partnering with Unity now to like give them oh, man, stuff yeah. so they could start making games for it? Yeah, I mean, it does actually. Now that you mentioned it, it does sound like. With the Kojima stuff too, that Apple's probably like finally going gaming, but I, it's 
Because they have so much to catch up to. And they have like, I don't know why. Drivers. I mean, it makes sense. I totally, you know what? I'll applaud saying that them doing it, period. Okay, that's good. Yeah, but it's just yeah, like, yeah. that's a... That's... They let they a lot also, of things pass, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'm just scrolling through the thing now. I forgot. I kind of glossed over it too, but they like their new like security thing for like the headset, like because it's not like a the fingerprint eye. or face ID. It's got like the eye like retinal scanner thing now. Oh, Facebook's mom's gonna love that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know. It's stuff's changing. It feels like stuff. I mean, okay, stuff's changing so fast, and then stuff gets so falsely hyped up. Like, if you had asked me, like, a year ago where we'd be with AI, it would be like, I don't have a job anymore. You know what I mean? Like, like, but nowadays it's, yeah, it's it's so hard to tell what's actually accurate and what's actually hype. And then, I mean, we saw it with Google Glass where it was like, it sounds like this awesome thing. And then it comes out and everyone's like, oh, there's not, there's nothing to do with this. Cool. Um, that being said, it's Apple. So I think they'll at least yeah, it's probably, support it. I don't yeah. think they're like Google where they just. That being said, especially if it's I'm not trying to be a. I know, right? But I'm not trying to be an Apple hater, but I, a lot of the stuff they did show is stuff that kind of already is just a thing that's just way better, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. as far as the resolution and the... It's kind of like, it's, when I had to see about the Oculus Quest 3, because that also has, like, what, a three-hour battery life. I was like, okay, so these heads... Okay, what I will say, I did go, I did say out loud, oh, God, only two hours. I don't think I've ever used my VR headset for more than two hours. And if I have, it was like two hours and 15, and then I took it off, and my neck was killing me. You know what I mean? So there is upper limits. I That's a, that's a good point. I do think, I don't know. I guess, I guess, uh, like Oculus had that cool thing where it's like you have a whole charging dock. So you, you pick it up for the two hours, you put it down, like. So no, but not, what I'm saying is, like, two hours is okay. But, uh, because, like, you're never going to. No, no, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying Apple. Apple marketed it like, oh, okay, I'm going to wear this on the plane or something. And I was like, two hours on the plane, that's pretty short. I'm worried pretty about short. heat. I think heat's going to be the biggest problem. Um, I guess we'll find out about that. Yeah. But I, I feel like it's the way it was shown. I was like, I don't want to. I thought I thought it would be cool to wear something like this in the, on a plane. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, you'd be that guy, but uh, yeah. it's totally worth it. And yeah. But uh, I don't know. Two hours, you can't really do much. And was that two hours, and then extra with the battery plugged in, or is it two hours combined with that? I, I forget. I got. I thought it was two hours for everything, and then you could plug the battery mm-hmm. into another battery, like an external. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Battery. Um, Anyways, but, it's cool that see Apple's getting into it, and it's cool that they're pricing it expensive because that probably means they think it's there's a future. Um, and it's cool because Apple yeah. doesn't... Oh, yeah, and that partnership with Disney. ...of completely abandoning oh, yeah. stuff. Like, I mean, they have some stuff, like their remote charging thing and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it should be interesting. Yeah. It's kind of weird because I feel like Apple's very much dropped the ball in the last 10, 15 years when it comes to industry-level, like, tools. Like new things? Yeah, like... Yeah. It's their first new product in a long time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. It's the Apple Watch, I guess. I guess the studio, yeah, but that's kind of just another last... Mac, right? Yeah, the no, studio. I mean, that's just a, yeah, I'm like, I mean, that's also the iteration of a thing that's existed for a I while. Guess. Anyways, um, should be good. I hope it's good. It's cool. Not saying it's they're good. bad, but yeah, be cool. No. Yeah. Tell us about this Game Boy. I'm kind of been... ah, so uh, at the beginning of or the end of last year, my my grandpa passed away. And then uh, just now my dad's been going through his house like kind of over the last six months. And then he found like his old like original Game Boy oh, wow. and he gave it to me. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm, it's, it's like kind of like yellow and stuff. It's got some vertical lines. So I'm going to like uh, take it apart and try to like refurbish That's it. That's a whole thing. Oh, like, nice. Community. You can buy like yeah. new screens and stuff that are like modern yeah, there's not... screens. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I'll like mod it so much, but like I've I've like done the research and like to fix like the vertical lines, which is like the biggest problem with it. It's not too too bad. It's like you need like a little was it soldering iron and just have to like lightly touch the bottom of the screen and then it'll kind of fix That's itself. Fun. It's so, a yeah. fun little uh, little project. I, I like cannot that. wait for the podcast the topic. I I broke my dad's Game Boy in about four months. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. <laughs> You'll make it. We're gonna need updates every episode, though, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we better make yeah, progress I on it. I burned off all my fingers yep. on my soldering iron. 
<laughs> I've heard that no. Yeah, that that could happen. That might happen. <laughs> if you don't burn yourself all the yeah. time, you're gonna forget. And that got me thinking. If I enjoy doing this, it'd be kind of fun to like buy some other like old kind of rundown consoles on eBay or something and like you know who pick away f- at them. We have a friend that used to do that. That's oh, yeah, uh, Sophie. She used, oh, at some point, Sophie oh, yeah? had like eight PlayStation Twos. Um, and she oh, was that's right. I remember I that. Like, it would be cool to have, but I know I would never, ever, ever use it. So. She might still have them. I don't know. I have no idea. Is the goal? I get. I get it when it's like one thing. Is the goal to sell them or something? I think or she just wanted. That, no, like I. Oh, for Sophie. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, she probably got a bunch card for she, like yeah, parts. Yeah, she you got, know. Yeah, she got a right, bunch right, for like okay. nothing, and then was like, "I'm gonna fix these and make one or two or something out of them." Gotcha. That's cool. So that'd be fun. I'll keep keep updates on that. That should go good. Yeah. Yes, Usually yes. when you're putting those hands to work. Mm-hmm. I don't Something like how you said that. Makes me uncomfortable. Putting those hands to work. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it when you work with your hands. Makes my happy. Well, Card, what did you want to talk about? Because I remember it made me mad. I already you forgot. It up. You already forgot. Yeah. I well, swear to God. we can stick with the I Nintendo know. stuff. Stuff. I know, I know. He just doesn't want to talk about the time blur, but I'll say that. <laughs> oh, yes. that's what it was. But uh, I've been having fun with uh, Zelda. Me too. Uh, and I actually thought of something, and your guys is because uh, I know you guys didn't like. I think one of the big things I like about this game so much more. Uh, is just real quick, how I've been, I've but, been a lot more into it now. I've been oh, playing, nice, like, nice. I played a lot now. What uh, well, I, you know, we don't have to get details because not fun mm-hmm. to listen to, but uh. I was, but you know how you guys were saying that the breakable weapons um, stuff, I think the way they handle it in this game is so, uh, is so nice. Cause it I makes, think it's what is this like the stuff? fusing, you're talking about fusing? Sorry? The fusing, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it, it, makes, it makes the breakable weapons like an actual, like even more fun mechanic, I guess, or an actual like a, well, yeah. time to build, time to fuse some shenanigans. And now I got this crazy. I don't know, it it feels, almost like a roguelike kind of. Yeah, it He's almost right. feels more, like, justified to me when they break, too. Because if you put something, like, you find, like, something super powerful and you attach it to your sword and it's, like, 100 power or something. And then, yeah. like, it's like, yeah, well, that didn't last forever. Like, yeah, that's that, that's fair. And then you go find, you have to go hunt for that thing again to attach it to another sword that'll last 50 hits or whatever. Yeah, and there's always something around you to put together. Even even if in your inventory, like, you're, you know, have all those fusing materials that you just throw out on the ground. It's just like, it almost, I was going to say, it almost feels like a roguelike where like each, mm-hmm. go, just going to the same area is kind of different because of the kind of weapons you hold. Basically, Calvin, to put it simply, it's like the number of the type of weapons in this game is like exploded exponentially. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I got, how many total is like, this is, has to be like oof. a thousand or something. That, crazy. Yeah, because there's like a decent, like there's a lot of just normal different weapon variety. And then for each of those weapons, you could fuse Anything you could pick up, any item in the game, you could fuse it to yeah, any anything. weapon, and it'll give it a different trait and strength, including yeah. your arrows. You can attach anything to an arrow that you shoot. So, like, if you attach an eyeball you got from a bat, it'll, like, become, like, a seeking arrow, and it'll just automatically hit your target, or you're going to attach a bomb to it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah that seems like a logical, like, growth of... Mm-hmm. It's also very sandboxy and, like, freeform, so... Is, yeah. Oh, and then, and then okay. Did you get? Do you have all the abilities, kid? Like, I, I is your just wheel got. Full? I just got the. Uh, I have last one, I think. Yeah, because like I just got auto build. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna say that changed everything. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's this a library. All the stuff you build, you could save now, and you can like save it in favorite things, so you can like quickly. Yeah, so like, say you find somewhere, Calvin, that has like a platform and like four wheels sitting around. Like, you would have to manually, like, attach each wheel, then attach a steering wheel on top, and then you could drive it. But now with auto-build, you can save that design, and if uh, all those parts are in an area, you just have to trace over it, and it'll just automatically build it. Or there's another resource in the game that if there's none of those resources around, it'll use your resources and just that's cool. you spend summon money to those. Make it. That's fine. Yeah, that yeah, helps so a lot. So you build one design, and then it's not wasted as soon as it, you know. Exactly. Yeah. And then through, through the, like, the, it's like some of the quest lines and stuff, you you unlock like auto build like uh blueprints that like they make for yeah. you where it's like here's a little hovercraft. I was like, Oh cool. I wouldn't have thought to build it that way. 
That's cool. Yeah, you kind of learn from there. I wonder if there's like a way to share them with the community. That'd be fun. Probably not. I mean, it's Nintendo. (laughs) But they're all, all the designs are pretty easy to make on your own, to be honest. Like, I don't think yeah. I've ever. Yeah, you don't really have to spend a lot of time to build. Like, one. there's not like any like intricate wiring or anything. Like, it's like, oh, you want to yeah. have a battery for extra battery life? You just have to stick it anywhere to your creation, and then everything has a bit more battery life. That's cool. I yeah, like that. I, it's pretty, that reminds me of a, I think it was called a game called Space Engineers. That was a lot of that. Um, yeah, if you want another battery, you just plug it in like anywhere, and you're like good to go. You want another engine? Just add it on the side. Yeah, just... Good to go. You know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I also not to mention, you you you. I guess you can. I don't. I didn't do Zora yet, but you got one of the companions. Mm. That was a cool thing. Uh, I didn't expect in this game, right? Yeah, yeah. I have two of them. I did. Yeah. Like, that's what I was kind of doing at first. I was like, yeah, this is fine. And now I've just been kind of exploring around. I've been doing a lot of the depth stuff, and I'm, I'm having a lot more fun now. So now I'm going to yeah. save the the last two for. Mm-mm. Yep, as, I'm planning just to get two as well, and then go oh. do everything. Yeah. You only have one right now? I only have one right now. I'm doing okay. the Gerudo one now. Um, okay, I, I haven't that. even gone there yet. That's cool. Such different there, places. Uh, what, once you get the the gore on one, yeah. there's uh, his ability. I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> I have some, some complaints. <laughs> okay. I, which I'm one looking forward do you to have? it. I no, have the, have the bird. What's his name? Tulin. Yeah, that was the first one I got to. That one I think is it's that's super awesome. helpful. That's, that's such a yeah. That's like yeah. But you know you know how you like you use him like where you have to like talk to him and then he's like all right ready to go and you click A again. Yeah. There's uh, the other guy. The other one. He's, oh no. It's like you don't have. It's not in the air. It's like an attack kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But there's been there was just today it was ha- happening in the depths. I was walking around collecting bombs. And then I was just <laughs> A, but he just walked too close. A. He's like, all right, yeah. here we go. And he just went right into the bombs, and I just, I died. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> great, fantastic. Oh, I could totally imagine that, because I've done that yeah. with two and by accident, too. So That's I, I, you, could, you could dismiss him, right? I, just, I dismissed yeah. him right after that. <laughs> She's like, like, you're done, buddy. <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> Fired. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really. Honestly, it's like, it's just, yeah, so much fun. I like it. Pretty good stuff, but let's do something that Calvin can talk about, like Diablo, right? Cause Calvin, yeah, Calvin, you want to issue your apology? I don't know if I should yeah. do it now or next week because I haven't actually played the game, but I am excited. You, for you that. can reference I am it. Very <laughs> excited for that because I wrote it off so hard. When was that? Last, yeah, like a week ago. So literally, if I had waited like a day, <laughs> I would have known to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, but um, <laughs> yeah, I was just I I wrote it off to the point where like until. When was it? I think Overwatch. So that was after Diablo, right? Yeah, it was after Diablo 3. Overwatch was the... Yep. Everything before Overwatch, like the original game, was insta-buy collector's edition for every game Blizzard has put out before that. Like, automatically I would buy it. And then ever since then, everything they've done has been pretty shit. With the exception of Legion eventually became good, which is a WoW expansion. But, like, I wasn't playing. And Dragonflight seems to be good. But Diablo, I just had zero belief in um, for a bunch of reasons. I just had absolutely... When I played the beta, it just didn't feel super awesome. And also, like, it felt fine. It felt fine. It felt like a bit of fun. And I think at the time I was busy with other stuff, so I didn't get to play it past, like, level 12. But the other thing that was uh, uh, um, was during the beta, you don't actually get to play the game. You don't get to play any of the end game or the repeatable stuff. You just see, like, a quarter of the story, maybe, right? Um, but apparently it's super fun and it sounds awesome. It sounds like everyone's having problem, uh, like tons of fun with it. Uh, people like people obviously have problems with it, or, like no lifers that have hit end game. Um, right. Are saying these things need to be fixed and like people saying that's not valid because you're just a fucking sweaty nerd. It's like okay, but in a month when you get there, they're still gonna be broken, you know. So chill out. Uh, some of the things, you know, some of the stuff is like okay, guys, really, but some of it is like. There is issues with it. That being said, I expected such a piece of shit on launch. I'm happy that it sounds like, at the very least, you're going to have, until you hit a level 100, like, just a bunch of fun, yeah. you know? And, like, then you go play another class, or you put the game down for a month or two, and you come back during Season 1. There's already two expansions for the game that is coming out. Like, they're already working on them, which is awesome. So, 
Yeah, I'm stoked to play. I'll be playing Thursday night. Um, nice. I might, I might. I, I, Thursday I might night. Time to um, we, yeah, we got a bunch of friends. Spencer's playing. I've been talking to him a bunch. Um, uh, and it, it, yeah, no, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. It also has the fucking like really good scaling, which causes some little issues end game, but I think they're gonna tweak that. Like again, it's like the first. It's been out for fucking early access for like four days. Um, so I think they're aware of the problems and they'll fix it over the next bit. But, uh, but like the scaling's great. So if like, I've been playing for 10 hours and you guys wanted to jump in for a bit, I don't like, I, I'll probably actually just make another character. Cause I think that would be fun. Or I can just join you guys and I just get scaled down. So I'm doing like fair levels of damage to you and I get like right. relative to rewards and it doesn't feel bad, which is like, like the only thing is you guys like it, whoever is hosting gets the campaign progress but the campaign is way mm. shorter than diablo 3 it's like 11 hours if you just it, like, actually i think people have done it like three hours if you just beeline it which sounds short to maybe somebody that's casual but there's a fuckload of side quest stuff and the whole point is to kind of get through the campaign and then go do all like you know all the fun events all the world bosses um it, it looks cool it looks it looks aimed at like gamer dads to a degree like it seems very friendly towards casuals um so i think i think if you guys end up playing it you'll have a lot more fun than d2 or even d3 um yeah it's, i mean i've never played more than five hours of a diablo game so I, think I think you'll enjoy this one fun. way more than d2 or anything um yeah yeah there's also some really cool pvp stuff if you remember the dark zone from um Help me, Ubisoft uh, game. What was the fucking the division, division? The division. They have stuff like that. Um, you can also just ignore that. those areas, but there is just like you can just go and it's like I think it's I think you can actually go through those areas and you don't tag yourself for PvP and people will just leave it alone. But if you tag yourself for PvP, you can get the currencies to open up the special chests, and you have to like do extraction to get the loot and stuff, which I think is cool. Like I think PvP is going to be a bit busted cool. with people just going or like just running around. Have they had that in previous? Games? No, that's new. That's new. Like before, there was always PvP as, that's cool. and you could challenge somebody to a duel, but that was kind of it. Right. So now this is an actual like, oh, PvP is a real thing. So yeah, I think it's I think it's cool. Uh, everyone's just like, there's problems, but it's a really good base. Um, and like to be honest, Blizzard has been doing pretty good in the last year, as in Dragonflight, which I is saw... a WoW expansion, has been about fun per hour, not how many hours can we get people to play. It's been about just mm-hmm. having fun. Just you can just like you can get into Dragonflight within ten hours and be jumping into normal raids and having fun with your buds. You know what I mean? Like you can just kind of get stuck in and just go have fun. Um, and that seems to be the Diablo. Yeah, this is vibe, and it also seems to be way more casual than other ARPGs, like Path of Exile. Nice. So yeah, it's yeah. They also seem to not do the D two like in Diablo three, when you get like a legendary or a special item. I got like maybe ten while playing through, like a lot, <laughs> like like hundreds and hundreds of hours. I really didn't have many. I've seen videos of people just casually playing, not doing any like fancy farming runs, and they're killing like a boss or opening up a chest, and there's like three or four special like unique items dropping that are like. Right. So that's just fucking cool, you know. So it seems much easier to get fun builds going and just go have fun. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked. I like games that, but like are complicated but like they don't have to be complicated unless you want to get into yeah, that. Exactly. yeah if you want to get like, into like don't... oh i need this ring for this precise stat and it stacks yeah. with these i can never get in, yeah. into those yeah. games because i never put enough time in where it's like, yeah. like why am i not having fun it's like, oh well you have to go here and do this and then this and yeah, this, yeah. this 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 like, this for i just want to shoot monsters and get cool loot like fucking yeah yeah but if you want to go and do that for 50 hours and you get this you're like cool or like 500 but, hours <laughs> so uh um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's. I think it'll be oodles of fun for at least a couple weekends, um, but I think I'll try and play it a lot more because I do like ARPGs, um, um, and I have a lot of hope that they do a good job with this one. So yeah, it sounds like it's good. Check back next week. See if we're all like. That's the kind of game out over the weekend. Yeah, I probably almost would rather play that one alone and then play with you guys. Mm. I, really, that one, that's an interesting I've been... take. Yeah. Okay. I've been just Cause... thinking about playing that on my Steam Deck card. That seems like a perfect Steam Deck game. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Can you play them? I don't know. I just I feel like co- I feel yep. like complicated games. I don't like the pressure of having to try to learn at the same time and keep up with people. Mm. I just uh, 
I wouldn't call it complicated. It's just press all your buttons and run off. I have a, I have, I have a small. Brain. I think Kari or Calvin. I think you did to Kari what you did to me for <laughs> oh, no. um, Warcraft. Yeah. Okay. What or... I will say is this game does have different classes. There's some that are more complex. So maybe Kari, don't play ninja, <laughs> or whatever the, or don't play rogue. Uh, uh, <laughs> if you do play it. But yeah, no. I mean, you know, that's that's cool too played. that you can jump in and out. Yeah, like if you want to just play solo and play through the campaign, once we get to repeatables and it's just like a game that we could hang out on and just talk shit while we're running bosses or whatever, you know. Um, or you don't have to play it. It's whatever. Um, but I think you're going to play mm-hmm. the fuck out of it. Like, I played the fuck out of D3. As in, when it was bad and when on release, I played through the campaign. Okay, back then you had to play through the entire campaign, which was way longer, four or five times. Jeez. And I did that on every single class. <laughs> it was like, wow. like five, six hundred hours um, when it was bad. Um, so. Damn. Uh, I think the game's going to be pretty strong. Definitely come back for the expansions if Blizzard seem to be fixing stuff. That being said, Overwatch is fucked. So I don't know what the hell those are. Oh, I have, I have some. Uh, Careful. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll be careful. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, Overwatch is <laughs> locked. <laughs> so the, yeah, it's, it's. I don't know what's going on at Blizzard. Maybe there's there's hope. You know what I mean? There's some hope. Where for the last like couple of years, I've been like I've I was not psyched for Diablo Four. I was just like, oh, it's gonna be awful. It's gonna be so fucking bad. Um, but it sounds like at least I'll get a weekend out of it. So nice. Yeah. Well, that's just grand. That's just, that's just grand. grand. Speaking, while well, we're still on video games, there's the, uh, there's, uh, on Thursday, there's like the Summer Games Fest thing, which could have some cool announcements. Oh, yeah. But on Sunday is like Xbox's showcase, which would be cool. But then they have their Starfield showcase, which I think is like an hour of them showing off Starfield. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, I forgot about it's Starfield. This Sunday. So that's, uh... that's this Sunday. So hopefully, hopefully it looks good. I'm kind of excited. Okay, I remember. I think this could be a next trailer. big. What was the last? What was the last time other than like I guess Diablo? But like, what was the last big RPG game like this? Was a, a success. You know what I mean? Uh, Red Dead. Red Dead Two. Uh, Red Dead. That's a long time ago. <laughs> that is long. It's got to be something. <laughs> well, that was like before pandemic. Was, I feel like there's been like a lot of games that have kind of just gotten cyberpunk, before. but that, that, would, that didn't have a. That was because before that game is still the latest cool. one was. Uh, latest one was Cyberpunk, and before that it was uh, was it No Man's Sky or no was Red God, Red, or... No Man's Sky is no Man's way Sky. older than Red Dead. That's way older, yeah. I'm oh, all my like, timeline messed up. But uh, you, my, my my point is, this will be like the next big make or break giant games like this, right? Basically. It should be interesting. What I would say, like when we saw the first yeah. trailer, one of the guns that they were using, like Fallout, famous for having horrible gunplay, was literally just mm. a Fallout gun with the same animation, and I hope that was. Oh, we were just using something for the trailer, but like, I don't know. I don't know. I like if it just feels like Fallout, like Fallout Four in space. It's gonna be. I think it's gonna be disappointing. I think they really need to up their game, especially with what we've seen in first person games over the last like four years. Um, but I'll probably end up playing it. But I, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think, I think if they do least. the smart thing, it's lean into the recent trend of kind of more semi hardcore, like harder games, kind of. Mm. Like, more involved and not just, like, you sit in your spaceship and it's look up, down, left, right, and a shoot button. You know what I mean? Like, that'll be kind Knowing, of fucking boring. I have a yeah. slight, I have a slight guess here. This is my little prediction. Mm-hmm. Knowing Microsoft and knowing this, the way Bethesda and all that, they're going to come out and be like, we have innovated AI dialogue. Oh, that would and be And it's cool. going to be a bunch of, it's going to be a bunch of AI. That's um, actually a good point. If there's ever going to be a game where they do that. Uh, well, I mean, probably would be. Fallout so like having an AI just say whatever the fuck it wants to. Um, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Is everybody here? I heard that. Yeah. I don't know what that was. Um. No, yeah, I, I, I'm not saying it'd be bad, but I just I can almost see like, hey guys, we got this. We made this big purchase. We need you to integrate <laughs> yeah. this into <laughs> yeah. you need to Starfield get somehow. Yeah. Tell tell the bartender start just yelling at us. Yeah, I was going to say that the Kotaku <laughs> article, day one, Starfield is racist. <laughs> yeah. oh it's just a racist chat. Uh, <laughs> it's just GPT-2. Yeah. It's like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, well. So, yeah, hopefully uh, that's cool. 
So that's okay. Sunday. Ooh, I, I, what else is, is the Xbox Sunday. showcase Sunday, you said? Yeah, they, they have a showcase on Sunday. It's two hours where they have just an Xbox one. I'm pretty sure they said the Starfield one's like a full hour or 45 at oh, least. Oh, it's going to be Todd but, waffling about bullshit about how big the map is for 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. And then... I think it's Todd going to be saying just AI. I think it's going to be a compilation of just saying the word AI. I hope to God he doesn't say that. <laughs> I'm okay I, with I don't think that's going to happen. We've improved our AI, <laughs> but I don't want to hear every other thing is because of an AI. <laughs> yeah, I can tell so. If they do that, it's just supposed to show how to have a I don't think anything. that will happen. Bro, it's I have a feeling it will. I think it will, yeah. What I do hope to see from the Xbox One, though, is the Fable game, finally. Yeah, Are you that. a Fable fan? I, I like Fable. I played Fable 2 and 3. I, I never I never actually played really? Fable. I, really I don't even it. know much about Fable at all. I like, what's Fable because it was Give kind me of like... just, like, fun. It was, it was just fun. You know what I mean? Like, if you wanted to go... Silly... And there was progression, and you could, like, buy stuff, and there's tons of money, and, like... Buying houses, what, 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 yeah, and different what choices and stuff. What is the it's game? It's like a fantasy like, RPG, but it, it's third turned person. Up to Twelve, you know what I mean? Like being a bad guy is just being mean. To it's people. almost it's like, like you make a pact with the devil, and now you can throw a house around. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it's almost like you can compare it almost from. It's like it's like the Saints Row to GTA, or like this is the Saints Row uh, to Skyrim, or something. I wouldn't kind say of, where it's as like, crazy as Saints Row, but yeah, not as yeah, crazy, yeah. but yeah, like a little bit more cartoonish, a little bit more fun. Yeah. A little more ridiculous, and there is but, like and then, yeah, they always like, have cool, wait, yeah, yeah, multiple endings, cool choices that impact things. Right, but right. like at the like at some point, I, I don't remember which Fable game I was playing, but at some point you become like very important, and you're like running the kingdom, and you're either running it, yeah, at, like it depending on how uh, good I, you are. I think are. it was you're either fucking collecting a lot of taxes. Three at much. the end, yeah. Three, you had like a dog companion, and at the end you had a choice. I think he the dog like died at the end and then he gave you a choice at the end for like five million dollars or bring your dog back i'm like come on yeah yeah yeah, yeah they do stuff like that and yeah, yeah yeah it would be like That's a whole funny. bunch of money or enslave the town's children you know what i mean right but if yeah, you enslave yeah, yeah. the town's children you become like this evil overlord but like unlike other games being the evil overlord is kind of fun like a lot of other games when you do like the bad route characters die off and it like punishes you constantly where fable i felt was when you did the bad route it was just like here's cool fun tools uh but if you did like yeah. the the good guy route, quote unquote you also got to a cool fun tool so it wasn't like yeah it was pretty yeah. it was good balanced on like what she wanted to choose yeah. that's fun um, there was a little bit of you want to commit to one of them pretty hard because all the cool stuff yeah, is at could... like the very edges but mm. definitely uh, yeah. definitely cool Almost like Shadow of the Hedgehog. No, no. Yeah, exactly. A lot of branches. No. A lot more branches. branches. Yeah, it's kind of more advanced, actually. No. No. (laughs) And they had guns, so, you know. Yeah. Shadow Shadow is hacking. Better Fable. No, that sounded worse. (laughs) God. It sounded worse, yeah. Shadow's Shadow's got that strap. That's what the kids say, right? Shadow's Uh got that thing on him. That still sounds like I'm talking about his penis. I thought you were. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> pretty ambiguous. There's no other. Yeah, that's uh, that's the only option for how you said that. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Ooh. Yeah, well, I mean, there's so many games. Wait, what's coming out in the next bit? I mean, there's Starfield, which is end of the summer? Question mark. September, I want to okay. say. There's, I mean, there's Diablo's coming out right now. What's coming out in like two weeks? I mean, Final Fantasy for me just came out with a new raid tier, which is a big deal. Final Fantasy 16 in like two weeks. Final Fantasy 16 in like two weeks. Yeah, there's, um, there's like a Pikmin bunch of fucking huge July. games. Yeah, there's Tekken. Um, the Street Fighter just came out. Street Fighter. Uh, there's a fuckload of games. I feel like I, I always forget and I look at a list and I'm like, oh yeah. But I feel like the next two months yeah. are packed. What month are, are, you, are you in those gamers? Oh, Spider-Man. Or- Spider-Man. You, oh, there's that a new chest. Amnesia, which apparently is really good. Yeah, there's 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 tons of games which uh super exciting. Oh, Exo Primal. Fucking Exo Primal comes out next month. I'm so excited for that. Oh right. That's, dino- That's like the dinosaur like PvE PV like you're doing PV right. PvE against dinosaurs. There's a bunch of different game modes, but you're doing PvE against dinosaurs, which sounds great, but you're also racing another team who's also doing it. Um, and then there might be like a final boss, or you might have to fight the other team, or you might. 
And it sounds like they've made it so, like, if all you want to do is PvE, you can totally do that. Or, like, the mix. I think the mix sounds fun. Um, but there's stuff like you're PvEing against the other team. And I don't know if it's your, if you're ahead or behind. Oh. But you get to be a dinosaur in, like, the other team's instance. And, like, fuck with them as the T-Rex. Which sounds dope. Mm. But, you know? So is this is this done by, like, a famous studio or something? Because I actually saw the trailer for this when they yes, announced I it. And I thought um, it was going to be bad. Because of the trailer. I watched gameplay and it about looks it. pretty good. You know what I mean? Like, it looks pretty cool. fun. Um, I want to say it's Square Enix, but I think I'm wrong. It's Capcom. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, Cap- they Cap- seem to be doing yeah. it correctly so far. The early access that happened, everyone liked a lot. Um, hmm. I just, yeah, I think that we'll see start to see hype for that in a month. It's also coming to um, Game Pass. So oh, that'll no. probably give it a pretty Oh, game. sweet. We could totally play that. Yeah, no, exactly, yep. right? So, yeah. I just look at this. I was like, I mean, it looks fun, but like, I don't want to spend the 70 Yeah, but it's on Games Pass, yeah. so it's like, fuck yeah, let's That's do sure, that. Yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I'm Armored done. Core in August. Fucking. Oh, fuck yeah. August, like, everyone's yeah. excited for that. Baldur's Gate is finishing up in August. Um, I have not played that. Mm-hmm. I own it. I've owned it for years. But, yeah, Star Factory yeah. in Ooh, September. Li- yeah. Lies of P. I don't remember if you guys saw that trailer. It's kind of like Souls, like Bloodborne ish, mm-hmm. but it's not FromSoft, and it's based on like Pinocchio or something. It looks really weird and cool. Oh, fucking Endless Dungeon, which is a game that I want to play with you guys. That looks really cool. It's like uh, uh, you know how we were into roguelites a little mm-hmm. bit. It's a roguelite co-op like dungeon crawler, mm-hmm. which is like really cool. Uh, Lords cool. of the Fallen comes out October thirteenth. Oh yeah. Um, um, it's a lot of stuff. There's of so stuff. much coming out in the next couple months, um, which is super. Exciting. There's the Avatar game. Oh god. <laughs> uh, Ubisoft yeah. is doing an event in a couple of weeks, so we'll probably see that. Uh, I wonder if we're ever going to see that Pirates game that I was excited for back in high school. I think. Oh, remember that one? Yeah. I do remember that. I was that. so excited. But, uh, to play it again, right? They've like, like really redone it, it multiple times, and every couple of years we see a trailer. And it's a very different game. And then Did they, they do, like, a whole panel and they interviewed people yeah. and everything? Like, hey, what kind of game is this? They've done, like... I'm pretty sure they've done ad campaigns for this game, like, three times and delayed it. Like, I, I completely forgot about I thought that was, like, coming out soon in the last time I saw the ad campaign, but I guess... It's been yeah. coming out soon a few times. <laughs> like, multiple <laughs> yeah. times. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't think... That's funny. I think Ubisoft is having a lot of trouble with that one. I don't know why, because they made the game as Assassin's Creed. Which Assassin's Creed was? Black Flag. Just uh, remake Black Black, that yeah. and make it... More up to date, newer, more songs, more ship combat. Done, done. Sounds I, like I remember. A, sounds like an easy did, task for. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they? They announced Sea of Thieves and Skull and Bones at like this the same year. Yes. Like the different yes. companies, but like it was the same yes. year. And I remember looking at Skull and Bones like, I mean, that one looks kind of cooler. And then Sea of Thieves came Dude, out. And I really out loved it and still love it. Multiple expansions and like tons of seasons. So of now they got a look at that every day and be like, well, it's not cartoony, but it yeah. it's not that fun. And then they keep coming up with new stuff. I was like, God, like, damn, like we can't keep up. 8A3. Like in the last trailer, they said that each person is their own ship, right? Yeah, I like, don't. I don't. That was believe, a weird part to me. I don't believe any of it. I thought that was a weird choice. They probably are changing What? It Why? Game. It's not Sea of Thieves. It's not going to be really multiplayer like Sea of Thieves. Well, I, I guess I... I don't know. I feel like if going with your friends, everyone is in their own that ship. That doesn't that's seem less to be the focus of what Skull and Bones is. It seems to be, hey, Black Flag is really good. Let's make their it last game. event. Their last event was big on like multiplayer, but it was, it was everyone like, in their, their own, own ship. ship. Yeah, it was showing yeah, off that they have yeah. multiplayer, unlike Black Flag. I think. Yeah. I just. I think that. Makes I sense don't think me. it would be fun. I don't, I don't think maybe, it's going to be much like on ship combat. I think it's going to be ship to ship combat. You know what I mean? Um, I guess you play yeah. World Tanks, so you probably can imagine. You play that, like, Wii Battleship game, too, right? I swear to God. Yeah, I, get I you. swear to God. This is just a targeted attack uh, now. Uh, <laughs> Mortal Kombat, a couple fighting games. Yeah, there's there's, there's a lot of stuff. Um, uh, the Wolf Among Us 2. That's a, Alan Wake 2. That's a famous Among game. Among Us 2? Wait, what? No, no, no. The Wolf Among Us was a game that was so awful. and they A Telltale game, right? A bunch of people over it. Think really, I think, oh, maybe maybe I'm think it's something else. I might be thinking something else, anyways. Wolf Among Us is like a telltale pick your dialogue options oh, okay. game. I might be confused. 
They're just cashing on the money. Oh, the, the Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. That's going to come out. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, Warforge. That'll be fun. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of, there's so lot many of people games are making around. games. Yeah, there's yeah. just so fucking many. Are you one of those gamers that that complains every day, saying, "Guys, here's why gaming's dead," and makes a long way to post? Are you post. serious? Have you listened to me ever? <laughs> no, I'm excited the because I, dead think, Calvin would be I dead. think not only are there a bunch of games coming out, but I think they have a chance of being good on release because we've either seen early access, um, or the devs are trustworthy. I'm not talking about Starfield. Starfield's going to be option. Um, am I going to play it week one, hour one? Of course I am. Um, <laughs> because I want to try and do Starfield blind. I think that would be fun and get my own opinion. Yeah, you should. You should. That'd be a first. <laughs> 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 and if, it, if it feels anything yeah. like Fallout 4, yeah. I'm going to trash it. How long ago did Fallout 4 come out? A long time ago. 20... Pretty long. Dif- yeah, if it even... Team. And to Fallout 4... You can't argue this felt old. Like when you played it, it felt already starting to show its age. I didn't actually play Fallout Four. Okay, yeah, the guns are ter- the gunplay is. Old. For people that don't know what the yeah, fuck I'm think- talking, when I say gunplay, go play Apex Legends and go play Fallout. You'll be like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it's just. It was still well liked. I think people's number one complaint was to just more Fallout. It didn't feel like. Oh, Fallout like, Seventy Six. Like, like I-, I forgot about that. Yeah, that, that was after too. Yeah, yeah. That was like after. weird and different, and like multiplayer. And I think that's gotten better. I've heard it's gotten better, better now. But at launch, it was like, yeah, it was very paid away, and I don't think it ran well. But yeah, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. Well, that's our. That's our... Yeah, wait, 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 wait a second. Hold well, on, Kate. Hold on, Kate. Yeah, we have I one think, more topic. Uh, Kate. We have so one more little topic. Kate. I mean, I won't be able to talk about. Ends. Save it for the end, Kate. So Our you guys have have you guys five. used? Hey, that's why it's the end, right? Last five minutes. Yeah. Have you guys used the time? Thanks for blur? watching, everybody. We'll see you next <laughs> <Yeah>. time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. go on, Craig. Here's the bonus section. We talked about some nerd shit. Yeah, it's the Patreon yeah. only. Uh, we don't what, have a what's Patreon. The... <laughs> we want to do better content for yeah, Patreon. Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm subbed to one of your podcast Patreon, and the Patreon episodes is them pulling out their phones and like just kind of talking to each other for an hour and being like. Good. That is that is what they do. That's it's just the extras, yeah, the yeah. people who are so attached to them that they just can't get enough. Yo, what the fuck? They, uh... I just said I subbed, and then now you're roasting. <laughs> uh, anyway, subscribe to our template. Patreon. <laughs> subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, we also have mm-hmm. a OnlyFans still somewhere. We uh, don't. We do. Yeah. Uh, do TikTok. Not. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Uh, we do. Remember. Want to see Callan's yeah. feet? That's not OnlyFans. Dot com slash sometimes something. I never sent you a photo of my feet. When did you get a photo of my feet? <laughs> I took it. I, I personally took it. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Thanks for thanks for listening, everybody. Bye.